Cheers. Who's this? Is this baby? Are you going to hide? You are crazy today. Hey guys, so I don't even remember where I was last in my previous spot of the vlog. So I thought I'm just going to, I don't even know, start fresh pretty much. Hello. Ah! Do you think you should get out of there? No. Yes, I think so. No. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh my god. He should be in bed right now. We can't find his dummy. I don't know if he goes to sleep without it. We like used to have like 10 dummies and now we only have one. So when it goes missing, it's a big problem. I'm gonna try to do some kind of dummy trick soon. He's still like little, but um, it's like in the back of my mind. Like I don't want him to rely on them forever, if you know what I mean. Um, the room right now by me is so messy. Like, there's just stuff all over the floor. Romeo's pajamas. The rest of the house is quite tidy. Um, it's just this room that I need to clean up. So I'll probably do that soon. Water is so pretty today. I wanted to show you my nails. I got these done because it is my birthday. Gemini season. I'm a Gemini. I'm turning 25. It sounds insane. I just got the cutest package don't mind like the sheets and everything because i like the duvets in the wash but i got this little package from i don't know how you would pronounce that i think it's mayu mayu or mal by marielle and i found her on instagram and she hand makes these little makeup bags like can you even deal with how cute these are the little gingham on the inside is like a terry toweling these are so cute. I also just got these bags from Zara, which I thought was pretty cute. The chain is so heavy. Like I was, when I ordered them online, I was expecting them to be like, pretty, feel pretty cheap, but they feel like really nice quality. And then I got this one, a nice green color, and this one here as well. And that's in a big white color. I love this green one. And the chain feels like really nice and heavy. Especially this one. This feels so heavy. And good quality. Nice little brown shoulder bag. How much were they? $60. So I feel like they're pretty good. That one was $70. So this one must have been around the same. $55. What a bargain. Um, I don't know what I was up to with like the whole like house situation um we finally got our drawers in this closet i thought i would do a little bit of a quick bathroom tour we've got like our perfumes and i keep like all my lip balms in here which like looking at them now there is why is there so many in there <laughs> like is that normal surely everyone gets a lot of lip balm also how cute are these little mini baskets i'm just obsessed with this vibe right now i got these from sheen um these little mini ones they're kind of like similar to these ones here holds like my hair stuff at the moment um these ones are from the brand hay it's spelled h-a-y and i got them from end clothing they have like really cute homewares and stuff and it's just like storing my hair stuff in here and it's just really storing them nicely and then in here i've got my hair stuff, headbands, clips, and like hair ties and stuff. Some more of those little crates. Just so cute. And then in here, I've got like face masks and like brow stuff. This is Andre's and I'm not going to open it because I know it'll be really like messy. And then in here, I've got like skincare stuff. And it was a lot neater, but I've been using it every day and then this is like body stuff it's andre's little section and yeah how cute is this bath mat as well by the way and the towels these are from adairs and i'm just obsessed with them they're just adorable um at the moment we're waiting for a really nice mirror that's gonna go downstairs in the living room 
um, and I'm so excited about it. We've been waiting for it for like since before we moved. We're waiting for someone to come um, over this afternoon actually hang up the master bedroom TV. We also wanted to get like curtains installed. We have like blinds and they like shut out blinds. But I wanted a sheer option for this bedroom. But here is like the blinds. Um, and I just want to get some sheer curtains that go across. But we got a quote from like a curtain place. And they said that it would take like minimum nine weeks. And I was thinking that sounds like a really long time. I've spoken to a few other people and they said that's pretty normal for curtains. So I don't really want to wait nine weeks. But we ended up going to Freedom anyway. And they have like rods of something similar that I was looking for. So we just have to measure um what we need and i'll just like we'll install them ourselves it'll be cheaper anyway um it'll probably look just as good so we we need to get curtains for this bedroom and i also need to order my bedside tables they're really really cute they have been like they're on pre-order since like i've seen the ones i wanted probably like since february but they've been for pre-order for july so i haven't even ordered them yet because i'm like they're not even close to being ready well now they almost are because we're in june so i'll probably actually order those soon is that your dinosaur go do it again go ah! oh my goodness so scary <gasps> daddy's coming <laughs> <laughs> do you want to show everyone your dinosaur bed <gasps> where's your bed Show me your bed. He's waiting for you. Just get him. <laughs> Let's show everyone your new bed. The photos on the wall, his little ball pit. And then we've set up his big boy bed. This was so hard to get the sizing from. We got the bed from Ikea. Um, and then we had to get a mattress from Ikea as well because it was the only mattress that would fit. Um, but the sheets we got are single. We originally got cot sheets. They're really cute, but um, we had to change the mattress. So now we've upgraded him to single sheets and his bed actually extends like when he grows. For now, this is like big enough for him because he's still quite little. And then he's got the little dinosaur sheets. How cute are they? They're the nice um, fleecy ones for winter. He slept in it last night and he loved it. Um, and I think it's really nice and fluffy, so it reminds him of our bed, and he's been liking it so far. We still take all the, um, teddies and pillows off when he sleeps, because he's still, like, pretty young, two and a, almost two and a half. Um, but, and I take, like, the extra blankets off, and he just has one duvet, and he's totally happy with that. That's how he sleeps. Still have these blocks from when he was born. I love them so much. I just love the colours of them. I think they're so cute. And then... On this side of the room, still kind of a work in progress. Um, I'm still decorating like things on top of this and just seeing what looks best. He's got toys downstairs as well. And um, obviously toys up here, like all these baskets are full of toys. And then we've got some books in here. Um, and yeah. I really quickly wanted to show you guys um, Romeo's bath mat because it's really cute as well. These are both from Adairs and they're really soft and really cute. Romeo's um, bathroom is really basic. I got that tray because we had one at that other house um, and I like kind of wanted to use it for when I have baths. I don't know if I like it because like the other baskets are a different color but um, I don't know. It's more like practical but his is like literally always drawers. It's just nappies pretty much and like bath toys. This is, this is for him. Little baby stuff up here. I feel like go through and very cute. I'd really quickly update you guys with the downstairs um, vibe right now. This is what we're working with. I'm still changing so many things. The mirror that we're waiting on is going on this wall here. Oh my god, I almost just fell over. Um, and so yeah, waiting on a mirror for there. And I'm st I've still got that painting over there and I was gonna like hang it up here but I just I'm like really bad at making decisions and I don't want to make a permanent decision and then regret it but um I have to do it eventually and pretty sure this has been like the same since we moved in the cleaners
so yummy. We just got a really nice steak. We never, ever, ever, ever eat steak. Um, maybe like once every blue moon. Um, so we went to the butcher today, got a nice steak, and we've got some broccolini and then some yummy potatoes and carrots in the oven. And Andre is going to make up a nice peppercorn sauce. He's very good at it. So I'm really excited. It looks so good. Fresh tulips as well. These are my favorite at the moment. I feel like they just look so cute and this vase. It's just so cute. I love it. Mm. Yummy. Some of my best work. Oh, and the sauce. And then we got the sauce. Delish. I'm not going to pour this on camera because I feel like I'll pour too much. Good morning, guys. I am in a rush, so I'll just keep this really quick. But I just wanted to pick up the vlog. Um, my outfit today is so cute. But I am currently running to an appointment to get my hair um, touched up. I'm getting my color done next week, so it's like done in time for my birthday. But I need to get my extensions pushed up. I have like these like beaded extensions. A few have fallen out as well. So um, I'm excited to get my extensions put back in. And I love them when they're like nice and tight and fresh. I hate when they've grown out because I feel like it's just so uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm running late to that appointment. Um, I have to absolutely rush to get there. And then after the appointment, hopefully if it doesn't take too long, I kind of want to go to a crystal shop that I've been wanting to go to for a really long time now. So I'm hoping that it doesn't take too long because sometimes after my hair appointments, I'm like really tired. Hey, bestie boos. The light is not very good here. Um, we're just like waiting for some McDonald's in the car and this is the longest I've ever had to wait for McDonald's. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe they've forgotten What's about us. Up? They realize we haven't got our food. They're like, who's this person in the waiting van? Yeah, I don't know. So I just um, finished my hair appointment. Um, I didn't get like any color done or anything, but they, I think they toned it um, and they trimmed a little bit off there. They trimmed it, so it's nice and short. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna go get um, like a sit down lunch. Sorry about the dinging. Um, but it is like already really late in the afternoon and we have to go, I, we're still gonna go to the crystal shop. Um, but it's a little bit of a drive and I don't want to be gone. Sorry about the dinging, it's so annoying. I'll wait until Andre gets back because otherwise it's just not going to stop. Here you go. He says... Okay, so... Um, here's my hand. We just quickly grabbed McDonald's because um, we were going to go get some like lunch, just sit down lunch, maybe some Japanese or something, but... Um, we want to go to that crystal shop, which I am really excited about. Um, and we don't really have like that much time because it's already like the afternoon and Romeo has a daycare today. So I don't want to leave him there for too long. Anyway, peace and blessings. Just leaving um, that crystal shop, which was like so cool, wasn't it? Really cool. It was really good, yeah. Um, they had like just so many crystals, um, and like the most beautiful, like biggest, like crystals, like I've never seen, like those kind of sizes in real life, which is really awesome to see. So I got a little haul called Crystal and Stone. Pretty much just picked up things that kind of resonated with us, and then in here is like a little bowl to hold all of our crystals this one is selenite i think i'm saying that right and it's cleansing recharging and clarity then what else do we have so this one is the pistachio calcite this one's health restoration and relax relax oh my god I, i'm like tongue-tied relaxation relaxation so got that one there. 
Then I think this is another kind of selenite. I'll just double check. Yeah, so this is just another selenite. Um, it's just shaped differently. This one is an amethyst. So pretty as well. We have an amethyst at home anyway. Um, but this one is for calm, patience, and manifestation. Sorry, Andre is driving crazy. I probably could have waited until we got home to show you guys these. But our drive home is an hour long, so I thought I might as well show you now. <laughs> because what else am I going to do? And then this one is so cool. So this is like a like a chakra one. Did it say anything on the thing? Yeah. So this one's like alignment, balance, and healing. And I just love the rainbow colors of it. I think it looks so pretty. Um, and yeah, I got that one. Oh my god, they're like the freaking bumpiest car ride ever. Did I get photos of both of these ones? Oh. Yeah, I didn't take a photo of this one, but I'm pretty sure it just literally said like positive vibes. And so I was like, I'll take that. I think it literally said like good vibes or positive vibes, something like that. So. I got that one. So I don't know if I could find a photo of this one. I think it's like the agate again, like the um, manifestation crystal, but it was like a rainbow. It's really hard to show on camera. Um, I think this one was like butter jade, that one. And this one is abundance, work ethic, and prosperity. And then the last one I got here, I'm gonna lose it. I'm like pushing my legs so tightly to get to hold these so I don't go flying. Okay, I, did I not take a photo of this either? Damn it. I don't remember what this one was as well, but she's sending a list. Did she say I was going to say what they were? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I think this one was like to do with um, like abundance and like prosperity um, and that kind of vibe. So yeah, I'm going to put these in my little bowl. And Andre's got his little bowl as well. Little bowl. Are you happy with yours? I like my, my rocks, they're good. Yeah, I need to hide them from Romeo, otherwise he just like will throw them. I'm home, just wanted to show you guys our little bowls with our crystals. So this is Andre's. He picked out whatever ones resonated with him. Um, and that was his selection, that one's cool. What's that? Do you remember? Let me get in my food. So cool. And then this is my little bowl. I can't get over this one. Look how grown up he looks. He looks like a big boy. It's so sad. You're growing up, but you're also so cute. Just <laughs> 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 fall over. <laughs> Pick your toy for the bath. Ready? One, two. One, two. Can you get it for me? Oh. One, two. Hey, besties. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just setting up the camera. I'm picking up the vlog. I feel like the last time I vlogged was actually probably two weeks ago was it two weeks ago but i'm gonna put these in the same video so if they seem like mismatched that is why um my closet broke by the way as well in the background i don't know if you guys can see but the um the pole it broke and ikea is like 60 minute drive from our house um and then also it is like sixty dollars to get um something shipped and i think the pole itself like a replacement is like fifteen dollars so i haven't justified um either of those options to get it fixed but there are some more furniture pieces that i wanted to get from ikea so we'll do one of the two this week i'll figure it out um it might be actually cheaper i'm gonna look it up 
um, today it might be cheaper because it's like a small item. Maybe the shipping isn't as expensive, but um, yeah. So I'll figure it out. I'm trying to think what has happened just to do a little like life update in the last couple weeks. I have my birthday. I turned 25. It was like a pretty low key birthday. Um, I just had dinner with some friends. We went to Nobu and then um, I also had dinner with like my family at this like nice Italian place. And yeah, it was just like a really low key chill birthday. I don't know. I feel like just some years you're just kind of like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not really feeling the vibe this year. I don't think I'm in my moment right now. So... I don't know. I got a couple new bags for my birthday. I might as well show you guys really quickly. So these are all kind of similar, but the first one that I got, and I'll show you, I'll save that one to last actually. I got two from By Far, um, and it's like a, it's still like a luxury brand, but it's like not as expensive. Like there's still a few hundred dollars for the bags. They're real leather bags still, but they're not, um, like a kind of like Louis Vuitton priced bag. They're not in the thousands, if that makes sense, but they're still really good quality bags. Um, so I got this one here, which is from By Far, and it's this really cute pouch in this nice pink color, and it has a grain on it. The, um, this thing here is just detachable. I actually don't have like a whole lot of bags with, um, silver hardware, so it's like nice to have that option. I'm pretty sure almost every single one of my bags is gold hardware just because I wear gold jewelry so you want to just have it like the pouch like this and then I also got this one from by far which I think is so cute this one is in this really cool lime green um it's like this like mini little shoulder bag it is so cute I love the shape of this I just think it is adorable okay so my favorite one is from um Bottega I'm so excited about it because I really have wanted this for a while and it is this really cute bag this one's the mini Jody um and it's just really understated I love how like um like um understated this is and that you can't tell that it's like designer I love it's like really subtle and it's just really cute and the leather's really nice it is like a really cold rainy day um today so i thought um i would vlog we need to go run a couple errands like we need to go get um something from jb hi-fi andre needs to do like a blood test something boring like that and i thought we'd go get some like lunch i'm like craving dumplings lately so i want to go get some like asian food and some like nice warm like noodle soup or something like that so i thought i would vlog today um and take you guys along with us so yeah i'm just getting dressed now and finishing off my makeup i'm gonna put more blush on <gasps> by the way my assistant got me this this like Dior blush, so nice. And it's like my new favorite blush. And it looks like so bright and pink, but like I am obsessed with it. It's just from Dior. I love blush. I feel like it like um, fades really quickly, so. Um, like I ordered a whole new pole to fix this whole situation and it snapped and we had two of those extra to spare twice it snapped twice so now I had to order a whole new one it's gonna take a whole another 10 days to get here um I feel like the first one we had was like faulty I don't even know what's going on it's not even that heavy I don't know why it keeps snapping so for now it looks like this and I have to wait another 10 days until a new pole comes and I can fix it again um but yeah, that's fun. Anyway, I got this really cute little um, item from Fendi and I wanted to do like an unboxing because it's just the most adorable thing in the world. It's like kind of hard to unbox with like one hand, but Ooh. how cute is this? Like, oh my God, it's the cutest thing ever. So it's technically like a bag charm, but you can use it as a little... I'm going to try and open it. Oh, there we are. With one hand. This is so hard to do, one-handed. So it comes with a chain. And you can use it as like a little mini micro bag. And it's so cute. It's like adorable. I love it. It's the inside. 
I know a lot of people aren't like for the micro bags. I just think they're adorable and I find them actually pretty practical. I don't take a lot of things out with me. This is something I take to dinner or just like every day just to have my card in there and a lipstick. That's literally all I need with me. I'll show you as well. I also got this for my birthday. Thought I would show you guys if it focuses. It's just this really nice bangle. Got it from Louis Vuitton. And then my mom got me this really stunning bracelet too. So I'm gonna wear those. Ta-da! How pretty. And then perfume I'm gonna wear today. My favorite at the moment has been um, this one here from Replica. And it is Whispers in the Library. It's like a very unisex, woody smell, but it's my favorite. So I'm gonna wear this one today. I literally cleaned his room up this morning. It was so nice and clean. Mm. Well, that space looks kind of clean. What happened in here? I'm gonna pick out your own outfit. So it's cold today, so we'll keep something warm on oh here's your jacket this one tracksuit's cute mm -hmm. this one there's pants in here as well yeah I, I folded them up <gasps> and you can wear these blue shoes you haven't worn them yet how ridiculously cute are these baby dunks they're just so cute okay i thought i would show you guys my outfit really quickly before we run out the door so i've got on this crop it's from my mum made it um, these jeans, they're like really cool jeans. They're like nice and baggy at the leg. They're from Glassons. And then my shoes are just these like cool Nike Dunks. I get like all of my Nike Dunks, or well, most of them from Waves. Sunglasses, vintage from Jean Vintage. She's from the UK and she always has the coolest vintage stuff. And I just have this little Louis Vuitton shirt. And that is my outfit. I also am wearing my jacket just in case because it is like really cold today. And it's this one here as well. I always get questioned on like these jackets. They're from my mum made it too. Also, I got this mirror delivered. I wanted to show you guys on YouTube. I showed Instagram. Is that a word? Um, but how nice is this mirror? It is from a brand called Jagger and Wolf and it has a really nice glow behind it. So it has like a remote and you can dim it or make it brighter and I am just obsessed with it. It looks so nice. Okay, so we're in the car, um, which by the way, we're not even in my car. We are in like a rental car right now um, because I actually crashed my car. It wasn't like a super serious crash. It wasn't anything dangerous. It was just me in the car as well. Um, and it was a, it was like completely my fault. I was actually leaving therapy. And I did not. I was just like in my head from the session we had. And there was like this really, really skinny pole. Um, and as I was reversing, it like took off my... I didn't see it. In, it was in my blind spot and it took off my mirror. Um, and like the front like panel of my car. But yeah, so it's gonna take 10 days to get the car fixed um, And then I was thinking of like getting a new car anyway um, But obviously we need to get it fixed first So little Gigi is in the back asleep So we're kind of taking our time um, Going to the shop that we need to go to or to the restaurant that we need to go to Doesn't he look so cute? He is passed out. I forgot to vlog our lunch before we started eating it. Romeo is already making a mess out of this spring roll. What did you get? Like, oh, it's locked anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the big noodle soup. Some like noodle soup, some spring rolls. That was a what? Bayo bun. He spat it out, didn't like it. Oh, wait, did he? Or I just don't think he's in a good mood because he had to wake up out of his nap from the car and he's just not having a bar of it today. So, anything that's going to keep him quiet and happy. And then my dumplings. Yum. <laughs> Where's he going?
Do you want that guitar? <laughs> Please, first of all, excuse my voice. I think I came down with some kind of cold. Um, I don't have COVID or anything, but I had some kind of cold and runny nose and my voice has disappeared. I've had like no voice for like about three days now. Um, and it's really bothering me. I wanted to quickly interrupt this vlog to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. You guys have probably heard me talk about Squarespace in some of my previous videos. Um, I love working with them and I also love their brand. I love everything about it. Um, so if you haven't heard of Squarespace before, they're basically a one-stop shop platform for creating an online website, whether that be a blog or, um, just like a website for your business, website for your restaurant, website for anything. I feel like these days everyone needs a website, whether you're some kind of online creator or whether you're looking to start a business and you don't even know where to start. Sometimes it can be really daunting um, looking into like starting and building websites. You just don't even know how to even begin that process. Squarespace makes it so easy for you. It's a really, really easy to use layout. Um, they have a huge range of templates that you can choose from. They also have a lot of really great features to help track your stats and analytics, which is a really great tool, especially if you are starting some kind of business. It's really awesome to see kind of who, what kind of traffic's coming to your website. I do have a link that will give you a free trial. So if you guys wanted to just test it out, see if you liked it or not, which I'm sure you will, I will leave that on the screen and I'll also leave it in the description box. Um, and if you've already tried the link and you want to make a purchase, um, I do have a discount code as well. and It'll save you some money off. So I will leave that on the screen as well as in the description box. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring uh, this part of the video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. Okay, really quickly, I'm still on the floor. I'm gonna have a little chat to you guys. This is so weird, but all right, I'm so sorry for my voice. I'm actually so sorry for it. It actually really bothers me. I don't even think it sounds like a cool rasp. It just sounds like ridiculous. I have this story, it just came to my head. I don't know if this is really random, but when I was younger, like 12 years old, I had eight teeth removed this is so random i don't even know why i'm talking about this but i had eight teeth removed for braces and it was like wisdom teeth i think i don't know how they found eight teeth i don't know whether i don't know how i have a full set of teeth i don't know where they found eight teeth but they had eight teeth removed um because i had a really small mouth and i needed to um that's why my teeth i needed braces i had not enough room i got braces and then recently in the last like year I was feeling something come through at the back of my gums, like where my wisdom teeth are. And I've just looked in the mirror the other day and I have a, a, a wisdom tooth that's come through. And it's just got me like second guessing everything that's ever happened in my life. I wanted to share this, it's so random, but I just wanna know if this happened to anyone else, if it's like normal. Am I like weird, abnormally like that? Am I weird that has like extra wisdom too? Would they have not picked that up if you're a dentist? Like would you not have picked that up in like an x-ray? Because I would have had like a full x-ray. Like, can you just grow teeth? Like I'm just so confused if they've taken out eight teeth from my mouth and they took out all my wisdom teeth. I like went full under anesthetic, everything, eight teeth taken out. And now I've got like another one that's come through and I can see it in the mirror. I can see it come through and it's so weird. It doesn't hurt. Andre was like, does it hurt? And I was like, no, it doesn't hurt. So I don't know if I should like go get that checked by a dentist or if I should just, I don't know. 
because that's so weird. Please let me know if anyone's been through something like that. Romy is asleep right now. Andre's just getting some like chores done around the house. We spent like the weekend kind of cleaning, um, but there's just still a few more things to do. Um, and yeah, my hair's like really soft and fluffy today, but I've been in this mood where I kind of want to dye my hair. And I feel like whenever I talk about it as well on my um, like platforms, like every it's always so split in the middle. There's people that I like die hard, like I love you brunette, you super brunette the most. And then there's people that are like blonde forever, like I love blonde hair, blah, 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 blah. It's like the Gemini in me, I feel like I'm, you know, my two personas is my blonde and my brunette. I was thinking maybe if I did dye it to do more of a like mix in between the two so like just like a brunette-ish caramelly like more like a, like highlight like brown with like a lot of highlights so it's like technically like blonde when I'm standing in the sun um but I don't know it looks like nice and fresh now because I washed it but recently it's just been looking like you know when you look at yourself and you just you need a change I've just been looking in the mirror and I'm just kind of like I don't know a little bit over it if I'm gonna be honest I'll put like an Instagram poll up. I feel like it'll be 50-50 because I got like this as well. Um, I feel like this whole vlog has just been like a haul of things. I am like a diehard Skims lover. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. I love Skims. I just love her stuff. It's a bit of me if I'm being totally honest. I live in loungewear. I live for comfortable clothing and her stuff is really good quality. Um, and I just did a haul. I've already like unboxed everything out of the paper, the bags because I was just checking what I actually got. Um, and I'll show it Andre. But I thought I would just show you guys um, because why not? The first I got is this. I think they just released this color. It's like this gray, um, marbled gray. Um, and it's just like a legit t-shirt. And I love things like this. I love to wear them with like jeans and sneakers. A really practical outfit. Super comfortable. The material is nice. It's really nice stretchy cotton. You can also wear this to like bed. Um, it's just like the nicest material ever. And I got uh, the same color in this like mock neck. Um, like tank top thing. Same, same thing as the t-shirt. I'd wear this to bed. I'd wear this out with like jeans. I also got the same color um, in a t-shirt bodysuit. So it's like technically the same thing as the t-shirt, but it's a bodysuit. So obviously this one's more for like going out. I wouldn't wear a bodysuit to bed, but I don't know. I just feel like you can never go wrong with basics, um, especially like comfortable basics like this. And this color, it's just like stuff that you'd get so much wear out of you know what I mean and then I also got the same like mock neck in the this bone color it's like a nude this color looks a bit different in real life it's almost like yellowy I still like it um and I got the t-shirt in that color and then I got some underwear these are my favorite underwear like of all time so they're just these oh my god like they're just so stretchy and comfortable like these are the best underwears. If you guys are on the hunt for new bottoms, then these are the best ones. I found these in the Fits Everybody collection she has. I don't, I feel like they're pretty sold out like sometimes, but definitely like look into it. If you find any in stock, just grab some because they are the most like feel good, comfortable underwear. Um, like of all time I've ever tried. I've been filling up my drawer like I've just been, every time I place an order through Skims, I've just been getting some of the underwear. Um, and now, like, half of my underwear drawer is just full of it because it's the only one I gravitate towards. Like, unless I'm wearing, like, sexy underwear, which I rarely do, I'll wear the Skims underwear. And then I also just got this cotton um, bra in the same grey colour. I have a few of these in the Fits Everybody material. This one's a lot thicker, um, which is nice as well. It's, like, feels really good quality and supportive. Um... These are my favourite bras. I'm not really a huge fan of wearing underwiring bras. I hate being uncomfortable. So these ones have no underwiring and they're so comfy and they still look really good and flattering. So yeah. I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here because I'm pretty sure I've edited it and it's already pretty long. So sorry, there's like a hair on my face. Um, I might just start a new vlog today or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you in my next video.